Hello friends, in this video we will see a detailed step-by-step -step registration process of TCS Code Vita Season 9. Before that, before we go to a step-by-step -step registration process, very briefly let us understand what is TCS Code Vita. It is a global coding challenge conducted to test and sharpen the contestant's programming skills. And this is also provides code vita is not just a global contest model. It is also a recruitment model chosen by TCS. So on successfully finishing TCS code vita, students will get and can, can make a career in TCS based on your performance. And this is only for 20 season nine is provides a career opportunity for 2021 graduate and postgraduate students across the country but this will not stop the remaining years first second and third year students to take this test participate in this event so if you are a student of any year you can participate in this coding contest but this is only recruitment model for 2021 pass out students and it provides students an opportunity to showcase their programming talent and earn peer recognition and all the participants who successfully clear round one which is pre-qualifier round I will try to explain what are the different rounds in this video itself but on successfully finishing the certification process every participant will get a certificate to certify that their standard of programming skill which will be a great value add for them to write on their resume and now let us understand what are the different contest rounds for TCS Code Vita Season 9. Round 1 is called Pre-Qualifier Round and it starts on 10th July and ends on 25th July. Friends, we would like to remind you that this is not registration date, it is not contest registration date. It is the date when the Pre-Qualifier Round starts. So if you are seeing it's a 5 day process, a registered student student who registered for TCS code beta will get one slot to take the test at a particular venue mentioned by TCS preferably TCS ion centers and round two on successfully qualifying pre-qualifier round two will be on will start on 7th November and ends on 8th November so it's a two days contest and first two rounds are online tests and third round is grand final and you can see the date 17th Feb 2021 it is a one day process and it takes place at a venue and students have to go to that venue to participate in that grand final and on successfully cracking the grand final students will be given offer in TCS based on their performance so the link what you are seeing here anyway I will provide this TCS campus commune link which will direct you onto code vita page i will give this link in this video description as well for your reference so you can see the registration for this code vita season 9 starts on 17th march 2020 and ends in july 5th 2020 one experience from the past past years that students who registered first will get a test center nearby their living place or as per their choice. Students who do delay their registration because the time band is very big. It is it is almost two to three months. So students who re who delay the process of registering seeing the date, they might not get a place nearby or, or as per their priority. So we urge to students, we suggest students to register as quickly as possible so that you can t get the test center for pre-qualifier pre round nearby your place or as per your choice. Students, you can click on this register button what you are seeing here to go to this page. And there are two ways of logging into this page. One, if you already have account in TCS Next Step portal, you can use your email or a reference number given to you CT, which means CT or DT number and then you can click on your password and you can log in that is one way 
if you are not the first time visitor of TCS next step or if it is the first time registration then you have to provide an email your email here and click on verify and this is only for first time registering students so click on verify which will direct you onto this page which shows are you prove are you sure you want to proceed with the given email id clicking yes but one more thing which is very important here whatever the mail id you mention here if you are a first time registering student please ensure you use the same email id to register on next step portal so this is one thing which we would like to remind you and on successfully registering in this page it will direct you on to tcs next step page here there are two opportunities for students but we suggest students to go with we suggest to students to go with it because bps which is business process services offers different set of jobs when compared to it so it is for all btech and b mtech and me students so click on this it green button which will direct you on to next page so this is the registration page for you so you can enter your basic details as per the details asked here and click on submit and few important things here please check the tcs password policy to understand how to give the password and we suggest students if you are a first or second year students because next step accepts only one time registration so we have to remember this username and password for two or three long years so please give a valid email id which which we use which you use uh, only for professional usage and password you should remember because in the peak times before the contest if you forget the password then you will get very very less help and to retrieve the password is very difficult process because tcs servers will be very busy even if you click on forgot pa forget password it takes lot of time so it it gives you immense pressure so we suggest you please remember keep it simple and uh, so that you can remember it and regarding the security question also keep it as simple as possible based on your priority anyway and then click on this submit button which will direct you on to uh, next page so it will ask you whether you want to uh, confirm or not yes you can just confirm and after you click on confirm the page will take some for some time to load this page so students should have lot of patience to wait for this page if a test if a page abots process abots here then it will be difficult for you to again get a reference number but anyway if if the registration is successful you will get a mail giving this reference number so this is what we are calling as a reference number there are two forms of this reference number one is you can see ct here one is ct number and the other is dt reference id so please don't worry much about ct or dt but just for your information ct if you get a reference id with an extension of ct then it means your college is registered with the particular name what you mentioned uh, uh, your institute name in while while you are entered in the details if your college li college is not found in tcs registered list then you will get a dt number but again i would like to remind there is no much difference between ct and dt number but please ensure you take a snapshot of this page uh, because you have to remember this ct number or dt number there are very very rare cases where students might not get the mail or the mail may go to spam uh, so that you will not find the mail there so ensure you write it somewhere this reference number somewhere or you just take a screenshot of this page and then click on continue it will ask you to again confirm your password this password which you entered here 
in the previous page while registering you have entered your password so the same password it is asking so you can mention that password here and click on submit then this will direct you onto campus commune page on successfully registering if you sub click on submit button you will get a mail uh, then on this page if you want to check just check whether you are registered or not you can click on track my application here and there you can confirm whether you are registered or not but here you can go to this campus commune page what you are seeing here campus commune so if you click on that campus commune it will take you onto this page and uh, here at the bottom you can see this launch campus commune button you can click on that button and that will direct you onto this terms and conditions page you can scroll down to see the screen button i agree so then click on i agree and that will direct you onto this next page and here in this page you can see this announcement of code vita season 9 and it is clearly showing the registration end date is 5th july 2020 click on this green button proceed what you are seeing here to go to register code vita and this is a code vita page and you can click on this green button which you are seeing here confirm registration so after clicking on confirm registration it will again verify your mobile number what you gave while registering in campus commune so just enter your mobile number and click on submit no need of any otps it will just check whether the same you have given the same mobile number or not then this will be displayed which says your contest registration is done so you are registered successfully for code vita season 9 so it is very important for you to see this to confirm your registration but then this is not the end of it then just scroll down we suggest students to scroll down from this page just scroll down and you will see this action item here and this is very very important uh, login details once you get the link to the online application you are required to use the following credentials to log into the application students please remember this username password is different and what username and password you have chosen or you have for TCS next step portal are different this login and password is only for code vita contest so when you are participating in the event you have to remember two login credentials one is login credentials of TCS next step portal two login credentials of TCS code vita season 9 username and password preferably username what will be given will be mail id but password will be different password will be different from what you have given in next step portal so please do not get confused if you only remember tcs next step portal uh, login credentials you can just log in but to start the test to participate in the event it is very important for you to remember this new password generated so students that's why i am urging you scroll down go to record this this also uh, uh, which is username and password and this username and password is for code vita season 9 contest and so this is the mail which i was talking about so the mail says dear student congratulations you have successfully registered on tcs next step portal your CTE reference ID is and please note the reference ID for all future further communications with us and then it says the instructions gives instructions about the application form which we already anyway are done uh, I'm sorry application form is different from uh, uh, what we have done what we did is just registration form application form we would like to show you uh, yeah here you can see this application form but, uh, button first button but again this is only for who are uh, in the final year or uh, sorry who are in the 2021 pass out students uh, but anyway remaining need not fill the application form uh, now it is not urgent now so 
this is it guys uh, hope the video helps you helped you and gave enough information about tcs code vita season 9 if you have any doubts regarding the same you can just leave a message comment of this video and as i mentioned before i will try to include all the links related to uh, tcs code vita season 9 in this video description itself so once again thank you for this watching this video and wish you all the best hope you get very good jobs as per your dreams thank you thank you for watching this video